Hello, this is Cynthia Jerry Ganga, soprano. No, well, Cynthia Jerry Ganga artist, but Cynthia Ganga soprano. There's a subscribe button down there, I think. Uh, it's somewhere down there. So, I haven't practiced for a long time because, well, one, look, my room is sort of clean. It's not really clean, but it's sort of clean, and for Cynthia, that is good. So, I'm going to practice. I have a new mic. Let's show you the new mic. I mean, anyone who follows me for piano will know my new mic. There's a mic. It's all set up. It's set up on my piano. I am looking at my mirror right here, and you'll be able to hear me now because I did some recordings where there wasn't a mic, and then you couldn't hear me, and that was no good. I have. Let's see what I have from my gifts my, from my friends. My friend is losing his house because the market in Alberta is shit doesn't have anything to do with the pipeline let's just get that straight that times are changing and yeah because i'm not getting into that political debate with anyone uh where oh i have to see those people i don't want to see those people some idiots about the princes the penis brain princes i don't care about them uh there's a drum that i got from my friend uh from my friend sam who is selling his house and that's me. There we go. Oh, I can see me. Okay, we'll start, start singing. Me. different consonants from Claudia who is my teacher Claudia Friedlander in New York who runs Liberated Voice and we are learning that consonants sometimes do not need to have my mouth move because I move my mouth a lot when I sing and it is unnecessary na 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 so here is how I usually move my mouth Na 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 na. You can see it's moving. I don't need to move it. Na 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 na. Just move my tongue. Me. I had an interview this week with the Edmonton Youth Orchestra to conduct for them. Conducting. I've never done that. So I said, I should go talk to them about something I've never done. And they said, I need to have violin experience. So I am hiring someone from Montreal to teach me violin experience. And then I am going to work with some conductors in New York because, well, Edmonton. Edmonton is Edmonton. Uh, but what I did learn is that uh, I am having to explain why I had subret roles early in my career and why I had mezzo roles for the past two years, including uh, as a China and the mother from the console. And then earlier I was singing Serlina and I was singing uh, Bastien and I was singing uh, um, Gretel, Gretel, Han yeah, Gretel from Hansel and Gretel. Uh, because my voice is not really lyric, but the way that I was taught to sing was always without my cadet voice and without my military voice, and that is not how you opera sing. You use all of your voice, not just the pretty parts. So I am technically working on dramatic coloratura roles right now, which is Fior de Ligi, and I can sing it, and I am extending my range back up to an F sharp, uh, high F sharp, F sharp six, because I've been working on my mezzo rolls for the past two years, two years, two, this is the number two, to be able to build my range and my middle range and my lower range, because when you build something low, then you can take it up high. And people don't understand that process. They just think that you're born with a voice. But as anything, it takes work. So that is what I'm working on. But I had to explain to the conductor what I was doing. Uh, and yeah, 
So we'll start again. You know that I talk a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to listen to it and hopefully it's not too really, really loud because the mic is pretty close. So I think it might do that like buzzy, annoying thing. sound because I'm singing. That's really funny.
Oh, uh, Tracy was talking about Tracy was Tracy Cox, who is a singer, uh, and is very good at talking about uh, how all opera singers should be allowed in opera, no matter their size, no matter their voice types, no matter their disabilities. Uh, was talking about how she should take all of the opera arias and make them into one. And I do that all the time because I can't remember them. And so then I start from one note and then I just sing random other things that start on that note. And then eventually I come back to where I remember what I'm supposed to be singing. Let us, woo, let's do some lullaby from the console. I love that one. That's my favorite one. Yeah. and stars. I shall swim for you, river and sea. Sleep, my love. Sleep, my love. Sleep for me. My sleep is warm. My sleep This is high in my voice. Uh, meh, middle range. Not super, super high because I do have the E somewhere out there. Oh. I have to blow my nose. That's gross on camera. I am always sick. So I have just gotten quite used to it. Oh, I was being sick. I think it's part of being a singer that 
we are neurotic and we almost get sick. <laughs> this is Susha Stiller. Susha Stiller. Sanfte Quelle. Which is German. It was one of the first things that I was handed, to, handed by Heather. And it is much, much higher. So it's a totally different part of my voice. And I'm trying to be able to alternate between things that are really, really low and things that are relatively high and in a much, much lighter part of my voice or using my voice lightly. So, so, so. why I'm not sure if it's because I'm singing too lightly or because it's higher and I've just made my voice comfortable at the low part with the console but we will do something else we will do the awesome song I love the awesome song Mr. Aaron Copeland at the river I did this at Courtney at St. George's about three months ago I think it was my first time singing at a church outside of Alberta which is pretty cool. Okay. Sh 
wants a lullaby. So the point being is that I'm trying to be able to sing both of them with the voice without getting super, super, super tired. But you can hear my voice is kind of like, uh, so that's probably not good. So I'm probably going to do it because that's what I do when people say don't do that, then I do it. and then recording it, but it's hard because in my head, I think that I need longer time, but I don't need longer time. I just need to do the thing. I'm very good at making up excuses not to do the thing, which is to practice.
And then, what are there's there? So there's for young singers. I don't really want that. What's that? Oh, that's a book of binder. Look. Let's see what we should find to sing. Mozart head bubble, which it's not that Mozartians or Mozart singers sing it, it's that he made it for some, not that, he made something for someone who had wobbled because it made him laugh and he was kind of a jerk sometimes. <laughs> C, we're still on C. now which has been two years in the making uh, so I will practice hopefully every day I hope that I don't annoy the people upstairs because it's quite loud when I practice and uh, hopefully this isn't too loud on the mic because I'm not sure how loud it's picking up but this is a perfect setup because you can see me and I can see the mirror and then I can do what I'm doing and you can see me and I can practice Thank you very much. This is Cynthia Ganga Soprano, hour one of 10,000 hours towards proficiency. So if, if I keep going this slowly, it will take me until after I'm dead to finish 10,000 hours, which is not good. So I'm going to speed this up, uh, in, not in terms of speed it up, but I'm going to practice more often. Thank you very much. Have a great day.